Hey everybody, it's Dr. Zach Beatty here with Gonstead Family Chiropractic. Hope this finds you and your health, your family healthy and happy. Today's topic is, what is that cracking or popping noise when I get my chiropractic adjustment? We hear that a lot. A lot of people are nervous about it, some people love it, and other people are just unsure about it. And so today we just wanna take a few minutes to talk about what is it, why does it happen, why does it not always happen? So first off, I just want to talk about what's going on with the anatomy part of it. And if you happen to see a little black thing popping out, that's my dog. So if you see him just jump over here, don't be alarmed. So with our vertebra here and our disc in between, right, there is also these little areas. It might be hard to see. Let me see. There we go. Right in there. And so it allows us to move, right? and you can see where it twists and turn. So right in there, gases will build up in that area, and what they will do is they will be released. So imagine them building up in that area, and then the chiropractor pushing in that area, and then you hear a pop, or a crack, as some people will say. What we term it is called a cavitation. All that means is a release of gases. So much like our knuckles, right? If we were to do this and they pop or crack, that is the exact same principle. Now, granted, we're not going for the cracking noise or the popping noise. That is just something people become addicted to or they want to hear. And they think that means that it was a good adjustment or a bad adjustment. That's not the case. That noise is just determined by the amount of gases being released. Nothing more, nothing less. <clears throat> There's been plenty of times where people will get adjusted, myself included, where we don't feel that noise. And by, when I say feel that noise, what I mean is there's parts of our body that, have you ever smelled something and you can almost taste it? Well, there's times where people will hear an adjustment and they feel like they had one sometimes. Or vice versa, they don't hear that noise and they feel like nothing happened, yet they maybe felt it, maybe they didn't feel it. <clears throat> There's a lot of variables in that. So the premise of this entire video is just explaining to you that that noise that we see on all these YouTube videos of the popping and cracking of the people's necks and backs and everything like that, that's great, that's awesome. Because it grabs attention, right? But would you rather that noise be there or would you rather have the result of feeling better and having a better functioning nervous system? So when we do an adjustment, we are focusing because the spinal cord goes right through the center, right? It protects the spinal cord and the spinal column. <clears throat> so when we do an adjustment, we are directly affecting the nervous system. Now there's a lot of people making claims about health and all of that, so we're not gonna get into that. What we're getting into is that the nervous system is directly impacted through chiropractic adjustments. That can be proven. So when we adjust you, we are trying to make an impact into your nervous system, make a positive impact into it. And we'll get into that later on, and there he goes. I think the mailman just popped by. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, the cracking and the popping noise is simply gases being released. So it's nothing to get worked up over, it's nothing to get excited about, and it's nothing to think less of your adjustment because maybe it wasn't as loud as the last one. So I hope that helps you guys. And if you have more questions on that, please reach out to us. We're always here to help here in San Diego. Um, or if you need somebody in another area, always just reach out to us, give us the zip code that you'd like them in, and we'll make sure to place you with somebody that we can validate for you, okay? So we hope you guys are doing well, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll all talk soon.